Well, ladies and gentlemen, the college football playoff semifinals are done, and we know who will be in the national championship. Um, guess what? We're getting a rematch in the national championship. Alabama will be taking on Georgia in Indianapolis in a game from a little over a month ago. So that will be our college football playoff national championship for 2021 to conclude the 2021 season. And to conclude the year 2021, we had two games that unfortunately have just been like most of the other CFP semifinals. Just blowouts. Um, Alabama Cincinnati started us off in the Cotton Bowl. And unfortunately for Cincinnati, they just could never get anything going on offense they kicked two field goals it seemed like they were in this game you know for a little bit but ryan robinson ran all over cincinnati 25 carries 198 yards of course bryce young also chipped in with three touchdowns despite the fact that there were injuries all over the place i mean again you know and the strategy for alabama was simple run the ball run the ball and that was the strategy that worked, and it worked to perfection against Cincinnati. It worked to perfection. And, you know, kudos to Cincinnati for even keeping this a game, because, I mean, this this definitely was something that there were some opportunities for Cincinnati. There were opportunities there. They just could never take advantage of them. And, again, I mean, this offense was completely suffocated by Will Anderson and company the entire afternoon in Arlington. And this game, you know, I, I got to tell you, this game was a game that, you know, you know, or, I mean, this was a game that a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, the, the group of five doesn't belong, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and I, I call, I, I call that bullshit. I'm sorry. Cincinnati proved throughout the year that they belong they they proved throughout the year they stayed they made this a game you know because i mean it was the score wasn't that bad at halftime the score wasn't that bad at all i mean you know 27 to 6 it's not anything to you know be proud of you know obviously you know luke fickle and company is completely disappointed by the result it's it wasn't terrible you know these two teams were fiscal for the most part especially early in the first quarter but ultimately, in the end, again, like I said, Alabama's defense was just too much for Cincinnati. And don't say Notre Dame would put up a better fight. Don't say Ohio State would put up a better fight. Because, no, neither of those two teams <laughs> deserve anything this year. They don't deserve anything. They're not the best. They don't deserve anything. Since that, again, Cincinnati proved that they belong, you know, this year. I mean, sure, you know, they lost by 21 points. Sure. It is what it is. Does that mean that the group of five needs to be shut out of the playoff entirely? No. And <laughs> stop that. And we'll get, to, we'll get to the other thing I have to say in a minute. You, know, you already know what that is. Uh, but let's go over the Orange Bowl here. Uh, Michigan, Georgia also was not close at all. We're talking Georgia scored 20, point, 20 straight points out the gate. They were up 27 to 3 at halftime into the fourth quarter. I mean, Stetson Bennett, masterful performance with three touchdowns. This defense forced three turnovers. Michigan also could not get any momentum going. We're talking the run game was not there. Sure, they got a garbage time touchdown late. You know, it was 34-11, to 11, the final score there. But, again, that was a garbage time touchdown. Cincinnati didn't get the opportunity to have a garbage time touchdown, in my opinion, because I mean, the defense for Alabama just did a whole lot better. I mean, Georgia just had a lapse in coverage. I don't know what that play was that Georgia was trying to do. Like, there was just a complete lapse in coverage there. So, the Orange Bowl, also a blowout, also unfortunate. Okay, I thought these two games were going to be closer because of these defenses, and it turned out that was not going to hit the case. Georgia looks like the Georgia that we saw in their first 12 games of the season, and that was a completely dominant team 
on offense and defense, a balanced attack on offense, a completely dominant defense, and Alabama, you know, has been the Alabama that, you know, although on the offense, again, you know, struggled at times against Cincinnati, he still scored 27 points, they struggled at times against Cincinnati, you cannot deny that. Alabama left some points on the field, honestly, they really did, they left points on the field this Cincinnati he probably should have gotten blown out by a lot worse. But again, Cincinnati's defense stepped up, you know, just enough. You know, I mean, Cincinnati's offense, however, did not step up at all. Michigan's, Michigan's offense can say the same thing. They didn't step up at all. And th that's the difference. It's not, oh, well, Alabama and Georgia are the two best teams. Because you know that's a lie, honestly. And I said a month ago that we really didn't need Georgia in the CFP. But I mean, who else were you going to put there? Who else were you going to put there? And I'm tired of the arguments about the 12 team playoff. I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I don't think we need 12 teams for the college football playoff. I don't think we need. And this applies to the FCS too, because I'm tired of people using the FCS as, as an example. Yeah, there, there's an outlier year with the FCS, you know, with the whole, you know, situation going on with teams moving and crazy upsets and stuff like that. But I mean, there's paper, you know, paper thin teams, you know, that don't have what it takes in the FCS too. You know, they just have to play more games. You know, like, like it just doesn't make any sense. You know, and I want the FCS field reduced back to 16. In all honesty, I can take 20, but preferably 16. You know, for me with the FCS. So I don't think I don't think college football playoffs should expand. I, I've said that. I'll continue to say that. There's just no reason for, for it to. I mean, you look at the semifinals. There's only really been only like a couple semifinals that have been competitive. There's been a couple. Of that. Most of the national championships have been pretty competitive, but most of the semifinals, not so much. And don't say go back to the BCS, you know, you know, one versus two. I don't want that either. <laughs> I do not want that either. Uh, I just don't think there's eight teams. I don't think there's 12 teams. I don't think there's 16 teams deserving. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. You know, if it. If things go the way they go and they expand after the first contract ends, because it's not going to expand before the first contract ends in, what, 2025, 2026? Yeah. Uh, so, CFP, you know, the two best teams are playing in the National Championship. I mean, what can you say? Yeah, they played a month ago, but what can you say? It is what it is, man. I, that's what I can say. So, get ready, Alabama, Georgia, in Indianapolis, or was it Las Vegas? I forget which one. Uh, I'll, I'll, I don't know. They, they confused me on the broadcast. They were like, oh, okay. They were like, it isn't the uh, national championship that's supposed to be played in Indianapolis. So. Yeah. Um, so, I, I, I mean, again. Yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. Like, Y'all you know, with this, ex let's expand the playoff and yada yada yada. I mean, I just don't, I just don't know. Oh yeah, it is in Indianapolis. My bad. So I mean, th this is this is really you know, this is it. I mean, there's only a couple videos left for the season, um, and we're gonna kick off 2022 with the other New Year's Six bowls. So we'll recap the rest of the New Year's Six bowls tomorrow after the conclusion of the Sugar Bowl. So. Get ready for that, everybody. And, you know, again, congratulations to Alabama. Congratulations to Georgia. Uh, Cincinnati, Michigan, I know y'all played. You know, y'all gave it your best shot. But, fortunately, your best shot could not beat either Alabama or Cincinnati. Or rather, Alabama or Georgia, my bad. <laughs> so, that's going to do it. Talking about the CFP semifinals. We'll talk about the New Year's Six tomorrow. Um, we'll talk about the FCS National Championship, you know, on Tuesday, and then the College Bowl Playoff National Championship, you know, the preview for that, and, you know, we'll get, we'll get things rolling for 2022 right, you know, in a couple hours, so, this is the final video of the year, everybody, I want to thank y'all so much for sticking around, and I'll see you tomorrow, we'll have a decent amount of videos tomorrow for a a great Saturday of college football, a great Saturday um, to open the new year. Good night, and I'll see you soon. Big Boy Sports, signing out.